Welcome back to another part of Deadly Premonition, Director's Cut. If you do enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. Previously during the investigation, F. K. In the coffin. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. Ah, the perpetrator. Bit off honest tongue. Jackpot sack. A shame. But our old-time all-American sightseeing tour just came to an end. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, I fret. So says Mr. Stewart. Oh, well, there's an old story. Folklore. It's a fairy tale to me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. She had a red dress on. She was a goddess. It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a while. Remember, if you want to see more, make sure you watch the whole video and leave a like. It will help us to pump out more of these videos. It also does support the channel. And for me to know what you guys want to see in the future. We better hurry, Zach. I have a bad feeling about this. Becky's house is by the lake. Okay, let's get to Becky's house. Apparently, there's a murder case now. Another one. Oh my goodness, it's on the other side of the world, dude. Put my wipers on. How do I do that again? There we go. With Q. Uh, the car to con turn. We should open the map. You see, that's why you shouldn't give me the car keys to drive, dude. Because this is how I drive in real life also. <laughs> I'm just joking. I haven't been in a car accident yet, okay? I'm Gucci, I think. Take a wide turn. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we're going into in the right direction. What? Not even close, baby. <laughs> By the way, we don't have fuel or um or damage to take, so we could just drive like a maniac right now. Bro, it's the other side of this river. I can't talk. He doesn't want to talk to Zack. York, talk to Zach, dude. What are you doing? Tell him about the movie you saw five years ago. No? Okay then. Here I am. What happened? It's like I'm driving out. <laughs> oh, Becky. I'm sorry. That's all he would say since I got here. Quint, tell me, what did you see in there? Damn. Damn. 
Did you see the raincoat kill? Damn, damn, damn. Huh? Becky. Thomas, did you see Nick here? Oh, Becky. No. When I got here, he was already like this. Emily yeah, should be here soon. Call George and tell him to get over here and wait out here. I'm going inside. Once they both get here, follow George's orders, okay? Yes. But Agent York, isn't it dangerous to go in there alone? Don't worry. Zach is with me. Zach, let me smoke one first. I need to clear my head so I can take everything in. Obviously. Understandable. You have to be mentally prepared for what you're about to witness. <sighs> Zach, they're here too. I had a nasty feeling about this. Let's hope it's not a big welcoming party. Huh? Well, we didn't have enemies for the past, I don't know, two episodes, I think. Oh, wrong button. Oh. Off to a great start already. Okay, slower it can't open. I can see the health kit, bro. Just give it to me. Goodness. How do I get on that side, though? There's something there. And something on the other side, but I can't reach it. What a humongous bed. Uh, Becky's bed. The crime scene must have... Uh, must be preserved. No napping for us here, Zach. much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. We could sleep here. We could change our clothes here. Maybe we should. Because these flies in my face is just like, ugh, so annoying. It's very dirty. How can we wash our clothes then? <gasps> ah, okay. We could clean them. OK, 
Okay, it takes hours to clean it. Let's save. What would you think if like an FBI agent goes into a location and then comes out with different clothes? Hmm. Bullseye. Yes. Great. Nice shot. Bullseye. Great. The boom headshots, dude. Okay, we should only follow red, right? Actually get loot from this. I hear like a child's toy or something playing. Yes. Bullseye. Bullseye. Nice shot. Bullseye. Bullseye. I'll take this. Little bandages. What? Did we just walk in a full circle or something? No, we didn't. Is my guy yawning? My goodness. Will they just keep coming? Nice shot. Yeah, it looks like they just keep coming. Infinite. I think uh, we we must destroy this. Stabilizer. <laughs> Hello, I'm tapping, dude. They just keep coming. A potato. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, our guy is like very tired. I should have slept. I don't have any coffee. And I don't think I have anything that can give energy. We should have slept in that bed. Yeah. 
Move, bro. Amazing. Amazing. Nice shot. Getting golf clubs. I take you to the golf club. Lollipop, lollipop, ooh, the lolly, lollipop. Lollipop. Another one? Hey. Wonder why it doesn't just pick up all three. Why one at a time? Yo, the golf club seems to be strong, dude. This is red just now. Peace sign. So we got a first reward, or technically first key. What is it actually called though? Our first clue. There we go. Killed both with one swing, dude. That's crazy. First aid small, okay. We still can't move that direction. I got a club, not afraid to use it. That should be the second one. Yes, there we go. We'll profile when we have all three. Shot, baby. We can't go that way. I love how this game is made, to be honest. Yeah. We're gonna sleep here. <sighs> uh, moderate sleep, deep sleep. I think we'll do a deep sleep. Yeah. There we go. Now we can just eat ourselves full. I wonder if what happens if you don't eat. That side is blockaded now. I assume we gotta go this way.
is the killer. I don't have a melee weapon. Okay, let's not screw up the dodge this time. I should have saved. Almost half stamina. Seems happy. Okay. Well, we're still alive. <sighs> Zach, this is a waste of time. Let's go. What do you mean? We still need a third one. bullets is this assault rifle bullets we can get an assault rifle somewhere here we go again I didn't have to dodge, thank you. <laughs> A 
Hey, we're on the other side. Hello from the other side. I twist your nips a thousand times. Right? <laughs> I uh, don't like... What? Don't like the look of this? Uh, there's no way to open this one. I think this is the third clue. How we can profile. Huh? Bloody camisole. I'll they just say... It, uh, Bloody shirt. Bring me a golf club? Thank you, bro. Bullseye. Bullseye. Amazing. Thank you. Nice shot. Amazing. Wait, where's my golf club? Okay, I think we saw enough information, I guess. It's bad. Very bad, Zach. The raincoat killer gave Becky a visit. Hold on. Oh my goodness, look at this bed. Someone's showering. Maybe. Can you hear that? Is it rain? No, it's the shower. Zach, the bathroom, quick! Got some smokes there. What? Don't carry more of these items, then put it in our toolbox. Remove it. It's locked, we need a key. And then we'll save, dude. Because if the game crashes, then we at least have a good point to... We start from. Can't kick the door in, dude. What FBI agent are you? The door's half busted anyway. Uh, looks like there's really left. Uh, looks like she really left the room, as she used to take her meals here even. No man, she would be without a hidden vault. Now this one is covered with a wood grain pattern. Uh, we need a key here, Zach. But I can't do anything else in this room, I think. Open it. I can't really look inside. The, the camera is like... Blah, blah, blah.
Hmm? Zack. She's still alive. Who did this? Who was it, Becky? I, 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 Becky! What happened here? George, stay back. She's trying to speak. We don't have time! She's dying! Thomas, cut that wire. No! We must get her to the hospital no! immediately. What? Uh, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! No, no! don't! George, stop! good this time Zach so there is so much that I'm furious for this guy told George and the rest of the team to stay outside they're inside George like York told them not to cut the wire and they did it anyway now how you don't find this suspicious I don't know right we clearly told him to not come in here. Now he's not just inside, he actually ruined the crime scene. What a hell. <coughs> Even B uh, Becky has been killed. By your hand, technically. Quite a serious character, though he likes to show off and he is too eager to, com to compete, which may be what it takes. What? I'm, I'm very angry about this. An empty diary. My dear sister, I'm so, so sorry. I was a fool to fall for a man like him. I don't have the words to apologize to Anna. I 
I left her there. She was suffering so much, and I just ran away. I know he wanted to kill me, too, but I'm not going to let him get away with this. I followed him after he was finished. He carried Anna into the woods. Anna was holding on to that precious locket of his. He couldn't remove it from her hand, even though she was dead. But she let go of it for me, though. It was like she gave it to me. So I brought it home. I might be able to bring Anna's killer down with it. I want you to see it. I know even he wouldn't dare to harm you. He'll catch me, though, if I go into town. I'm trapped in my house. So I've asked Isaac and Isaiah to deliver it. They totally believe that Anna became a goddess. I believe so, too. She looked so beautiful. As though she might smile back at any moment. I have something else to confess to you. I borrowed a pair of your shoes without asking and broke the heel on one of them. I'll send them along with the locket. I'm sure the shoe can be fixed. So Becky is Miss Stiletto Heel. And she gave the locket to the twins. Must be the special secret Lily told us about, Zach. We'd better go and see her first thing tomorrow. Emily, who might this sister be that Becky was referring to here? That would be Diane. Didn't you know Diane and Becky were sisters? I should have known, Zach. We're all family here. How can she afford this mansion? Like, we need to also discuss this. And if she's always just eating in a room, who brings the food to her? So many questions unanswered. Forty minute episode, that's too short. We'll continue on playing. We will keep, uh, continue on. We have roughly about 20 minutes to go still, so... Previously during the investigation... I'm Kaysen, Forrest Kaysen. Thomas, did you see Nick here? I... I... Uh, no. I, uh, when I got here, he was already like this. What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! George, stay back. She's trying to speak. Got us good this time, Zach. I hope there's gonna be consequences for George. Oh, I can't believe it, man. Now that's heavy. Me neither. When did Becky stop coming to work? I think it was like from the day Anna was killed, man. Yeah, 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 that's right. She was she was totally depressed about something. Quint called for her to let us know she wasn't coming in for work. She must have been totally in shock, the poor thing. So you took the twins along to cheer her up. That's right, hon. If only I knew it would be like this, I'd have spent more time talking to her. You told me about a special secret between your children and Becky. Yes, of course. What about it? It seems Becky handed them an item before she was killed. Any idea what that might be? Now that you mention it, they had a box about this size, which they said was very important. That's it. I'd like to talk to them about this in person. Where are the boys now? They went out, actually, with Mr. Kaysen. They mentioned going to the community center today, hon. There is plenty of space to run around over there. Kaysen, do you know him well? Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. 
He always brings us gifts from his road trips. The kids love him, so we let him take them out every once in a while. You know, for a little quality time with the missus. <laughs> okay, I understand, but the situation calls for urgency. I'll go and look for them myself, and if they come home without running into me, could you let us know? Sure, of course. I'll contact the department. Where is it? Where? Sally Graham, Anna's mother. Where could it be? Her dress. Oh, Sally. Sally, Anna's mother? She's acting up again. She's been like that ever since she heard the news. What exactly is she doing? Got no idea. But I guess she's in like, you know, shock or something. The way I look at it, her daughter's death hasn't really sunk in the right way. Totally, man. I feel sorry for her. Come on, let's go. Lily, have you seen Anna's dress, dear? I can't find it anywhere. Zach, the wheels are turning, but not in the right way. You feel it too? A little bit. But I mean, I, I think a lot of parents would be like this, especially a day or two after. Now both her daughters is dead. We didn't even know that Anna had a sister called Becky. Isaac and Isaiah aren't here. They're apparently out with Kaysen. Let's go look for them. With Kaysen? Sounds like a long story. Any ideas where to start looking? Lily told me where they went. No problem. To the art museum, right? To some museum, I can't remember. <laughs> and today, we're stuck here having to search for lost children. They're not lost. We're the ones who are lost. And so we are, Emily. Zach, we may as well have fun if we're getting lost. You sure know how to take your time in a time like this. Trust you, I, I, I would not be smiling right now. I would be climbing down. Uh... Oh, we should have turned left. I will turn left here. I would be I would be climbing down George's throat about what happened. Not following orders from his superior. I can't believe two people have been murdered in our town. And now two young children are at the center of it all. I just can't come to grips with it yet. Crime will happen wherever there are people. And that's why we have our jobs. It might be easier for you because you don't live here. These were people that I knew that were killed. And the murderer might be someone who lives here in this town. It's really depressing. I know. But someone has to bring this murder to justice. You're right. I know. But, oh, Agent York, sometimes I just think I'm not really cut out to be a cop. Not true, Emily. You have the potential to be a superb law enforcer. You can be emotional at times, but you also possess what's most important. I do? Uh, what do you mean? What do you think? A sense of justice. Justice? <laughs> I must admit, I I'm surprised to hear such a... How should I say this? Such an obvious answer. <coughs> say something else. Obvious or not, I joined the FBI in order to do what's right. And that's what's important. I understand, but still, you seem... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I need some time to think. Whatever do you want to think about? Justice. I want to think about justice. Zach, she's quite the philosopher, isn't she? That talk about the guffing there. Makes everyone a philosopher. Sorry about the coughing there, guys. My goodness. I try to mute, but holding down the shift doesn't mute. Because now it's shift uh, and the mute button. <laughs> 
Becky, show me those nips while we're driving. Ah! I blame you, Becky. I'm just joking. I'm taking shortcut, dude. And we made it. According to Lily, Isaac and Isaiah should be here. Then let's go and find them. They were right there. Hello again, Isaac and Isaiah. I hear you're teaching Willy to do tricks. What's your secret? It's easy. Really simple. If he does it right, we give him a treat. A cookie if he does it right. I see. You're very clever. So, tell me, you two. Could you perhaps tell me your other special secret with Becky? No, we can't. It won't be a secret if we tell. Um, I'm not telling. We promised Becky. Well, that's a problem. Because I also made a promise to Becky. Promise to catch the bad man. But I can't keep my promise if I don't know what the secret is. Do you see? She told us to give Diane a box. It wasn't that heavy. We took it to the art gallery and gave it to Diane. Is that all Becky gave you? Um, just when we were leaving to take the box to Diane, Becky called us back. She handed us something. It was small and round. She told us to keep it safe in our pocket and give it to Diane. And then you met Carol on your way? Yep. I took the round thing out of my pocket, and we looked at it. And then she talked to us. We told her that we were on an errand for Becky. She said she'd do it for us. But we told her no, because Becky asked us, not her. We promised Becky to do it ourselves. So Becky did entrust the locket to them. And now Carol has it. Right, Kaysen? Huh? You were in the room when Carol took the locket back from Diane. I saw you with Diane in the art gallery that day. Well, yeah, I, 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 I was there in the room, but, but I was only uh, chatting with Diane. Oh, then Carol burst in, all angry looking. While Carol and Diane had their talk, oh, I, I just sat there like a frog. Yeah, so Carol took the locket from Diane, but that has nothing to do with me, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. But from this instant, you are now a key witness in this case. I'm afraid you can't leave town until you hear from me. What? Can you do that? This is all starting to sound a little like Alice in Wonderland. Which makes you Humpty Dumpty. Huh? huh? Isaac and Isaiah, thank you. I think I'll be able to keep my promise with Becky thanks to you too. How is Becky? Is she getting better? She'll come and help out at our store again, won't she? She'll come and play with us again, won't she? Boys, about Becky. Uh, that's right. Uh, um, Becky is almost totally better now. But I don't think she'll be able to come and see you. I was told by Becky to keep this a secret. But she's actually a goddess of the forest, just like Anna. I think she's going to be in the forest with Anna for a while. Cool. We'll keep this a secret then, too. Wow. That's why Anna and Becky are such good friends. <laughs> OK, OK, Willie. Well, they're sisters. You're happy, too, aren't you? Zack, I hope Emily doesn't end up as a forest goddess, too. She better not. I haven't seen her nips yet.
Okay then, Zack. Let's go over what we found out recently about the case. First, Diane, the owner of the art gallery. She was out drinking with Nick Cormack in a bar on the night Anna died. Nick confirmed this, and so she has an alibi. But then we have what Nick's wife Olivia told us. According to Olivia, Nick and Diane not only went to the bar, but also went somewhere else that night. Do you remember where that was, Zach? Hmm. <coughs> art gallery, diner o'clock. I went to the art gallery. That's right. The art gallery. Before entering the gallery, Diane looked back towards Olivia. Almost as though she saw Olivia in the dark. Nick's behavior has also become more suspicious by the day. If Olivia is correct, then he is heavily involved in this case. But we have no conclusive evidence of that at the moment. The only thing we can say for sure is that Nick's whereabouts are unknown at the time of Becky's murder. He has no alibi for the crime. But that fact alone means nothing. So who was it that called Thomas to report trouble at Becky's place? It must have been Quint. That's right. It was Quint, Becky's boyfriend. He went to her house and saw the tragedy. Now, about Becky's murder. I'm embarrassed and mortified. Killer struck again while we were on the case. We found her bitten off tongue. A massive amount of red seeds that poured out of the blood and an inverted peace symbol, like the one seen at the site of Anna's murder. From the similarities, one can deduce that Anna's killer killed Becky. We also found one other important piece of evidence in Becky's room. Can you remember what that was, Zach? We found a letter, a sketchbook. Stiletto heels, I guess, could also be a right answer. That's right. We found a sketchbook in Becky's room. She had apparently written a letter to her sister Diane. It revealed that Becky took a locket from Anna's body at the crime scene. She also admitted to borrowing a pair of Diane's stiletto heel shoes. So Miss Stiletto Heels was Becky. There was something else at the end of the letter. It said that she handed the locket and stiletto heel shoes to someone. Do you remember who, Zack? I think it's Isaac and... yeah? That's right, Zack. And from what Isaac and Isaiah told us... Carol offered to take the items to Diane, but the twins refused. They gave them to Diane themselves, as they had promised. For some reason, Carol wanted the locket. She ended up storming into the gallery to take it from Diane. And when Carol took the locket from Diane, Kaysen just happened to be there. Is Kaysen involved in this? Or was he just there by coincidence? I wonder what's so special about the locket, too. Why did Carol want it so badly? The questions are mounting. Come to think of it, Quint, the first witness, has no alibi for Becky's death. We checked the phone records and his call definitely came from her house. Is it possible he attacked Becky and then called us from the scene? But everyone is suspicious one way or another. What should we do next, Zach? Okay, who's the most suspicious? Whoa, the, the other guy is not here. No, I don't think so, Zach. You don't think so? Suspicious, but there is someone else at the center of this. Diane, then? 
she's pretty much involved everywhere. I don't think Quint is suspicious. That's right. Becky's sister and Carol's enemy, linked to both Nick and Kaysen, the elegant owner of the art gallery. Zack, that's our next move. We'll start with Diane. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? That's right. There's just too many things that we don't know. First, we need more intel about the relationship between Nick and Diane. How? Nick and Diane meet every night at the bar. Let's use that. George, we'll need you to stake out the gallery. What do you mean? Wait in the parking lot of the art gallery and tail Diane when she leaves. If she goes anywhere other than the bar, you let me know. Emily, you take the diner. Wait for Nick and tail him to the bar, too. As with George, if he goes anywhere else, then you let me know. Okay. Thomas, you keep a watch on them inside the bar. Y yes, yes, I will. I'll be waiting in the parking lot of the bar. Once Nick and Diane are together, I will follow them wherever they go. What time do they usually show up, Thomas? Around the same time. Usually between 22 and 2300. Then at that time we do it, boys and girls. Hmm. Now this is a lot better place to actually end the episode. Guys, this game is hella confusing so far. I'm not gonna lie. But it's very interesting. And that is where the part is going to end, unfortunately. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you beautiful people in the very next episode. Love you guys, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time. <laughs>